Belmont High School, the students involved in this project were in my upper level courses. So they are primarily uh, juniors and seniors and um, they are the students that are at the top levels of art and they are the cream of the crop. Very proud of them. We want our students to be well rounded and well versed. We want them to have a presence in the community. We want them to learn to help others. Uh, and we want them to be able to give back. Uh, this artwork is something that's going to continue to give back at the new Health and Human Services building uh, and will be something very, uh, very rewarding for our students as they see it in years to come. Since it was in the Human Services building, we really wanted to do inclusion and make sure that that pertains to the main point of our project. So to have people of once again, every background possible, every disability, we try to really include that in it to show that nobody's left out, to show that when children or people come to those buildings, they can kind of point out like where they belong. The thought process behind the images, uh, I know Ms. Price and a couple other students talked about it beforehand, but they really did just pick images that would be, it's, it's up to your interpretation, but there's still that sense of family and community and services provided, but it's, every single person will look at it different. I would say personally with this project, I feel like it's much bigger than just this class or just this community. It really is going to impact many people and I think that's what I've taken away most from this project is working on this knowing that so many people are gonna be seeing this and that it really is going to impact people's lives as they enter the Family Human Services building. It's kind of amazing that as high school students we get to have art in a public building like this where everybody can see it and you know we're not like um, professional artists so we get to do something amazing this young. When I saw the one canvas with the prosthetic leg I thought well I should probably add my disability to it because I mean I thought it was a really great idea to like actually show that to other people. I didn't feel afraid of or I didn't like feel less confident. I felt like it was a push to me to do it. It's crazy that it goes from being like on your parents fridge maybe to being in a public building but it definitely has its perks and to know that you know we might not do art when we're older when we're in college or wherever we go and to know that we're still going to have that piece that's always going to be reminding us in our community of what we've done and what we've achieved as high schoolers is really great. As people walk into the Family Human Services building, I think the biggest thing that we want to convey is that everyone is accepted. There's no discrimination. There's no, there's no exclusion. Everyone is welcome at the Family Human Services because it is there to help. One of my favorite things about watching them work through this process is, and I've told them and I've bragged on them, um, just in the sense that, you know, I've always had high expectations for my students, but to see them have high expectations for themselves and for each other was one of the proudest moments for me because they were able to look at projects, look at the paintings, um, maybe what the second block class did and the second block kids looked at what the third block kids did and, and they were able to critique them. Um, They're open to constructive criticism, um, but it's just been very successful in that they have all worked very well together and they all have this same mission to make this the best that it can be.